Hey everyone, this is Javen and in today's video, I will be showing you how I usually cut the top of my hair using a thinning shear as well as regular scissors. So this one here is just the regular scissors for hair cutting and this one here is thinning shears. The main difference between the two is that when you use regular hair cutting scissors, you will essentially cut all your hair. So for example, you see that? the entire hair is cut off. Compared to this, when you use thinning shears, when you cut your hair, for example, the hair length still remains the same. You're simply removing the bulk of your hair as seen here. Okay, so usually what I do first is let me get a comb. I will comb my hair down and just to see I want to make my hair fringe a little bit shorter because right now it's over my eyebrows. So what I usually do is I use the hair cutting scissors and I sort of go like this and kind of eyeball it. So, so yeah, this is pretty much what I do. I go at it at an angle because I don't want it to be so flat, but if you prefer your hair fringe to be flat like this um, or straight, that's perfectly okay. But for me, I kind of do it like this. So I go like this and then I move on to this end here. Okay, a bit more. Yeah, the goal here is just for me to make my hair fringe just a little bit shorter. So hair fringe, you know, the front of the hair bangs Okay, so it's pretty much around the eyebrow level. A little bit more here. Yeah, pretty much just eyeball it and go for it. And you know guys, if you mess up, you don't have to worry too much because it's hair and it will always grow back. And you can see it's somewhat straight now. It's a little bit shorter. The reason why I don't want to cut it too much and I usually like to be around the eyebrow level so the hair doesn't go into my eyes and if I want to you know, push the hair up using hair products or whatever there's enough hair length to actually do it like so so once this is done usually I like to use the thinning shear and this is my favorite kind of hair cutting shear simply because it's really beginner friendly and it's really hard to mess up with thinning shears so what I usually do again is eyeball it, go to the side of my hair, snip, 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 and I do the same thing at the top, snip, 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 the back of my hair, do the same thing, snip, snip. Yep. And you can see a lot of hair is coming off, but my hair length is remaining the same. All the bulk of the hair is getting removed. So yeah, a lot of hair is falling down right now, as you see. The main reason I do this usually is just to make my hair feel more airy in a way and make it feel lighter. Because when there's too much hair on top, you know, it just weighs all your hair down. And yeah, it just looks flat. So what I usually like to do is just lighten the load on top to make it more airy. And then coming down to the hair fringe. Over here, easy again, I go like this and... Yeah, pretty much like that. Or without the comb, you know, you can just go like this. Yeah, pretty much like that, just two snips wherever you go. And the first snip, what you can do is do it more at the base of your hair roots. So close at the bottom, and then the second one can be at, at the middle of your hair root. Yeah, just so it's more textured in a way. But yeah, there's really no right or wrong in using hair um, thinning shears. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can already see that my hair is a bit lighter, you know, my hair fringe is shorter from using the regular hair cutting scissors. 
And to finish it off, I like to just trim up the hair between my ears. And I'm using the regular scissors right now. The reason why I want to do this is just so that I can make my hair cut last longer. I feel like my side hair is still pretty short, so I don't want to be cutting that. But if you want to make your hair a little bit more neat, you can cut the hair that's growing around your ears. Just so you know, it doesn't touch your ears. Like how I'm doing here. Like how I'm doing here, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so let me hop in the shower and come back here once I'm done. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video and if you like it, let me know down in the comments below and check back next time.